Join us. It is day two of Jazz's two-week board and train. Today, she's going to be introduced to the recall command COM and also her place command. And she's going to be continuing with her walking command, which is follow, and her release command. Free! <laughs> warming up with our follow command. Again, looking for a nice loose leash, turning when I turn. Also visually checking in. Just sort of holding it loosely in my hand, talking with her through her e-collar. The goal is to drop out communication tools, such as she's wearing a martingale collar, uh, her leash. Change of pace. Okay, so as you notice, I'm using a hand single for the follow command. I did not give a verbal. If you scoop sort of like air along your side, that's sort of what the follow command is. You can use either your left or your right hand. It does not matter. Follow command, when my feet stop moving, all I'm looking for is the dog to just stop also. The dog can sit, the dog can stand or lay down. It doesn't matter. Uh, later on when I teach the heel and sit command, you will notice that the follow command becomes sort of less important to the dog because they tend to remain on the left side for the majority of the time. Remember with the follow command, they can walk in front, behind, or to either side. What is the come command? The come command is if you extended your arms out in front of you and at your fingertips you drew an imaginary circle around your body. What I'm looking for when I call come is for the dog to come within the space. The dog needs to remain a couple seconds. If the dog moves outside the space, I'm gonna recall the dog into the space. And after that, just repeat the exercise. With the recall command, I start on a six foot leash. She graduates to a 10, 15 foot leash. And then when she understands the language of her e-collar, then she's off leash. With the sit command, I'm asking for a sit. If she goes down, that's fine. With pet training, I only care about that the dog is stationary. Sit and wait. Wait. Jazz, come. Wait. Jazz, come. Jazz, sit. Wait. Jazz, come. Jazz, sit. Jazz, follow. Jazz, 
Just sit. Wait. Just come. Let's follow. And after a while, those sits just become automatic. Notice I didn't give a verbal or a hand signal. Again, the dog cues in on your feet. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let me place her. Sit. Okay, so I've got a 10 foot leash that I'm going to attach to her for the first time. So we're gonna see how that goes. What I'm looking for with any dog I trained is them being comfortable dragging the weight of this leash in addition to it getting tangled in their legs and their bodies, not getting freaked out about, <laughs> about that, that they have a comfort level. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and throw some toys and just have some fun. And you can see the line uh, between her legs and kind of the, the funky walk she's got with the line. <laughs> Let me grab this. Yes. Free. That's better. <laughs> Good girl. Good job. Free. She's going to take a break, so here we go with our next session. Jazz, come. Wait. Jazz, come. Wait. Jazz, come. Jazz, come. Jazz, sit. Wait. Jazz, come. Jazz, free. <laughs> Good girl. Jazz, free. Good girl. Good job. Wait. Evaluation. Jazz, come. Jazz, sit. Wait. Jazz, come. She's still within the circle. Wait. Jazz, come. Jazz, come. Again, her getting used to the weight of this 10-foot lead. Mm 
wait. Okay, nice sit, wait for duration. Jazz, come. You can see she got up a little bit ahead of the recall. Jazz, sit. Wait. Mixing it up so she doesn't anticipate the recall. Jazz, come. Jazz free. <laughs> She's such a low energy girl. Um, <laughs> there she goes, just after I bragged about how low energy she is. <laughs> In between sessions, we have a wonderful love fest on the, her place part. <laughs> She's such a happy girl. What is the place command? The place command can be any object. Let's talk about the object for just a moment. It can be a dog bed. It can be the board that I'm using. It can be a park bench or a boulder. The object defines the place. So if the dog is on a place, for example, a park bench, the dog does not leave the border of the bench, does not leave the border of the dog bed. So therefore a wait command is not necessary. Place command, the dog's brain works a lot different than human brains. They have to learn, for example, the board I'm using all four sides. I can teach the place command on one side of the board, move to another side of the board, and the dog has no idea what to do on that particular side. So each side gets taught individually, and then the dog puts together each one of those four snapshots of the board in their brain to make a complete picture. At that time, they are able to enter and exit off the board from any of the four sides. Before the sun came up this morning, I did some preliminary work on the place command. It gets taught as an object first. She's in her fear period. She was terribly afraid of this object. So I worked her not only walking across the object from all four sides, but also being on the object to help her through her fear of the object. See how relaxed she is on her board? So let's get started. Now that we've got the teaching place as the object out of the way, we can continue with the command. So here we go with that. I'm going to teach uh, place and come sort of at the same time. So I'm going to call her off her board and send her back to her place. And here we go. When my feet start to move, she's going to move with me, but I want her to remain on the board. So you'll sort of see me training that aspect of the command. The command is multifaceted. Uh, and again, I'm going to move from a six foot leash and add distance, a 10 or 15 foot leash and then off leash. But this is the very beginning. Jazz come. Jazz place. Jazz come. And a car just went by, so we have some distractions. We have birds, we have cars. I am wearing a noise canceling uh, microphone, so you may or may not hear all of the noise or at the volumes that I'm hearing it. So let me check and see if she's without the circle, out of the uh, recall circle, which she is. So I'm going to go ahead and call her again. Jazz, come. Jazz, place. And again, the dog doing all of the work. I don't want to have to pull her with the leash uh, or uh, send her to 
the board also uh, guiding her with the leash. The object again is to drop out the leash. Uh, obviously she needs some guidance at this stage, especially as I add distance. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the other side of the board that she hasn't done yet. Jazz, come. Jazz, place. Jazz, come. Jazz, place. Okay, so I'm gonna use the leash as a distraction. I'm also using my body as a distraction. The goal is to help the dog make mistakes. Place so that I can clarify the understanding of the boundary. Jazz, place. All part of the learning process. If you want a dog to sit on the board, that's a separate command. Uh, she can stand or sit or lay down, it doesn't matter. But if I want her to sit, I'm gonna ask her for that. Okay, and you can see she has an understanding of that boundary now. Jazz, come. Jazz, place. Jazz, sit. Jazz, come. Jazz place. Jazz place. Jazz sit. Mixing it up so she doesn't anticipate that when I stop that I'm going to recall. That becomes important, um, especially when they're off leash. Just come. And within the imaginary circle, it doesn't matter where she is, just so she doesn't leave that boundary. I don't care if she stands on her head or sits, it doesn't matter. Just so she doesn't leave the boundary of the space of the recall. Jazz place. Jazz come. 